Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Tracy Leong. And I'm Mark Mester. Thanks for staying up late with us tonight. We have brand new details tonight in that officer-involved shooting. Chassis deputies tell us that CHP officers fired shots at a pickup truck on Happy Valley Road near West Valley High School at about 10 o'clock this morning. Investigators say that officers tried pulling over a pickup truck because the headlight was out, but the driver took off and then brandished a gun during the chase. When the truck stopped, officers opened fire, hitting the driver as well as a six-month pregnant woman. Both sustained non-life-threatening injuries. New at 11 tonight, I just met with one of the women that, uh, women, I should say, that was in the truck. Wendy Michaels tried calling the pregnant woman's mother during the chase, but she didn't know the call went to voicemail and recorded every shot that was fired. Yeah, because if I would have went like this, I would have got my whole face blown off. Wendy Michaels says she was scared when CHP officers fired shots at the pickup truck she was in on Happy Valley Road Tuesday morning. We seen bullets go right past us. Michaels says she was in the passenger seat, and her six-month pregnant friend Michelle Short was riding behind the driver, Billy Kenyon, who's the father of Michelle's second child. Wendy says she tried calling Michelle's mother during the chase, but she didn't realize the call went straight to voicemail, recording every shot that was fired. This is the first time she heard the call. See, those are all huh? deputies told KRCR News Channel 7 that the driver brandished a gun during the chase. Was there a gun in your truck? Was there? I, that was my truck. I don't know. Did Billy have a gun? I don't know. I know Billy never shot at no damn cop. I know he didn't. Not one single time did he shoot at no cop. Wendy was arrested at the scene, questioned by Reading Police, and was later released. Her pregnant friend Michelle had shrapnel removed from her head and was released from the hospital early Tuesday night. Shasta deputies and Reading police are heading the investigation. We're still awaiting new details from them on what exactly happened. As for the health of the baby, the family tells me that she's doing okay, but mom has head pain.